Greetings spinners! Today I'm going to be talking about spiral wraps. One of my favourite moves. It fits with everything. Almost no performance is complete without one. It just adds so much elegance to your flow. That's a little bit of um, wow factor for the crowd, especially when you do it with fire. Because obviously the fire comes close to your hands and people are like, wow! So, all you need to know for it is your planes. For this, you want to be going same direction and uh, split time so that they quite cross it in the middle. Then, all you do is just bring your hands together. That's pretty much it. All you have to do is just tidy it up so that the so the point rotates around themselves and around your hands. You want to be aim aiming with your hands, fingers slightly splayed, that way the cord doesn't fall off quite so easily, it doesn't fall off the fingertips. A lot of people when they first start it, the fingers are all closed in like that and it, it can slip off your fingertips and then it tangles. So by spreading your fingers out like that, you help keep a little bit of control over it. Alternatively, you can aim it a bit further, a bit further back so it falls onto your wrists. It will prevent it from uh, falling too far forwards. If your hands are quite pointing down like that, you get that effect. So, spread your fingers out and tilt your hands back slightly, just to stop the cord from falling off. And twist to catch it and then push it back again and that will help maintain the split time. It's a move that you can throw into uh, transitions so if you're doing your forward uh, three beat weave and you want to go into your reverse without a stall then you can throw a spiral in there and then you can pull it back into your nuts. Or vice versa. You can wrap them around your fingers a couple of times so you can have them a bit shorter and you can sort of bounce them nice and quickly. The shorter they are, the, the less rotation, so you can do them from behind here, which is a fun one to do. Put a leg in the way. You can even sort of keep your hands more separated to stop them from going around quite so far. Or you can use your just just your fingers. Get the extra rotations. It's very fun to do. It's very satisfying, especially when it impacts in the middle of them. You can do it on your horizontal plane as well, like over your head. And you can also do it a bit further down as well, like right there. For that one, I would recommend pushing your hands down slightly when you do it, otherwise the cords tend to fall off your fingers. So push down slightly and then lift your hands up as you unravel it. Have fun with it. Just remember, planes, split time, put your hands together, split your fingers, and when it reaches the hands, twist your hands and then flick it back out again. This is going to be part of a series of videos of moves that I like to do and how to do them. That's not necessarily the title of the series, but who knows, it might be. If you have any questions or any suggestions for moves that you would like me to run over in detail, just drop us a comment or a message, let me know and yeah, we'll work on that for you. But if you find yourself having any difficulties with this in particular, 
I said, rubs the comment, and I'll try and go through it a little bit better. Take care, subscribe, like, all that jazz.